What's going on, Genius Nation? Welcome to a brand new day, a day that you've never seen before, a day that you will never see again. As I tell you every day, every day is a gift waiting for you to take full advantage of it. Welcome to the Daily Genius. I am Dr. Will, and as always, super excited that you are here rocking with us. This is episode number 215. That means for 200 and 15 days we have been showing up consistently so for those of you that join us live i appreciate you for those of you that join us on the replay i appreciate you as well for those of you watching this on youtube go ahead and hit the subscription button go ahead and hit the notification so you can stay connected but i would also like to invite you to become a part of genius nation what is genius nation we are over 1,000 individuals committed to becoming the best version of ourselves and creating a life that we love. If that sounds like you, that's your mindset, then go over to Facebook. There's a link in the description so you can join us. It's a free Facebook group where we provide tips, tools, and strategies to assist you in becoming a better version of your self so come on and rock out with the nation we would love for you to be a part well today if you've rocked with us any amount of time on wednesdays on wednesdays what we like to do is a segment that i call moving the needle moving the needle what have i done what have i used in my business to help me drive success what have i used in my life to help me drive success so that's what we talk about on on uh, on Wednesdays, we talk about driving success, right? How can we move this needle? So today, I wanna talk to you about creating a map, creating a map, M-A-P. We wanna create a success map, M-A-P. You guys know I'm an army guy, so I like acronyms. So MAP is an acronym that we're going to break down. So if you truly want to be successful, you want to get from point A to point B, you need a map. So that's what we're going to create. I'm going to tell you three essential things that <clears throat> you need to have in place or that you need to engage in to create ultimate success. So number one, good morning to everybody coming in. I see Atlanta's in the house. Baltimore is in the house. Phoenix is in the house. Maryland is in the house. I appreciate all of you guys rocking out with us inside the nation. So number one, if we're going to create a success map, it all starts with mindset. Mindset. Your success, how far you go, how high you go, it's going to be determined by your mindset. And listen to this word that I use. Mindset set compound word mind set your mind is going to have to be set on the success that you want because you're going to have a lot of opportunities to come unset right to be moved to get kicked off the track to get thrown off the train but you're going to have to have a persistent mind set this type of mindset that says no matter what, this type of mindset that says in spite of everything that's been thrown at me, I'm not giving up on my success. And so if you really wanna become the ultimate version of yourself and create the success that you want, the mindset is so powerful. So how do we set? How do we set our mind? How do we get to a place where our mind is set, where I'm not topsy-turvy, I'm not up and down? Here's one of the things that I have done throughout the years to help set my mind. I've studied success. I've studied successful people. I've studied the mindset of success. I've studied the psychology of success. But more importantly, I've studied the uh, experiences of other individuals. So let me give you an example. Um, years ago, years ago, um, maybe, maybe about 20, 20 years ago, um, I was reading, reading a book, a book by Dr. Kimbrough, and he was talking about his road to success. He was talking about writing the book, Think and Grow Rich, A Black Choice. And that book, that book took him seven years to write. 
He thought it was only going to take him maybe a year or two to write, but it ended up taking him seven years to write. And he had, guess, here's the word, he had set his mind. His mindset was he was going to finish this book. Now, the story goes that when the Napoleon Hill uh, Foundation reached out to him to write the book, initially he told them, okay, I'll write the book. If you give me a stipend, if you give me an advancement for the book, I'll write it. That way he was figuring out he would secure his income. He would be able to pay his bills and all that kind of stuff. Well, they declined that offer and said, nope, the only opportunity that we're giving you is to be the only African-American author that is authorized to write the book, Think and Grow Rich, A Black Choice. We're going to give you, Napoleon Hill himself had already started to write this book, but unfortunately he died. He had about a hundred pages uh, written out and completed, and they were willing to give those pages to Dr. Kimbrough so he could continue the research that Napoleon Hill had done. So Dr. Kimbrough says, okay, I got it, I'll do it. But within this seven year period, he was met with all types of obstacles, just, you know, not even anything um, uh, out of the norm, but just your day-to-day -day bills, day-to-day -day living. He shares a story where his house almost got repossessed, um, uh, got foreclosed on uh, two different times. He talked about his car being repossessed. He talked about everybody calling him crazy to take on this type of assignment and not get any pay from it. But his mind was set. His mind was set. And because his mind was set, come hell or high water, that he was going to complete this book, now Dr. Kimbrough sits as one of the foremost authorities on wealth creation, um, building a brand that's bigger than he could have ever imagined. But it all started because his mind was set. And so success starts with your mind. Your mind has to be set. So I would read stories like this. And when I would read stories like this and things would get tight in my life, I had a reference point. I knew that what I was experiencing was normal for this type of process. I knew that when you're going for something big, when you're going for something audacious, when you're going to, uh, when you're pursuing something that's going to transform your life, change your life, then you shouldn't expect it to just be given to you. You shouldn't expect it, it to be handed to you. You should expect that it's going to be tough. You should expect that you're going to have obstacles that you need to overcome. And because I was reading uh, stories like this, I ended up reading over 700 um, biographies of successful individuals. And so now when things would get tough in my life, I had a reference point. Oh, this is normal. This is it. Was, it's always been normal for me. When I would get in tough situations, oh, this is normal. This is a part of the journey. It, it, it never knocked me off. I never got depressed. I never wanted to give up. I never wanted to quit because I realized, oh, this is part of the journey. And that's all because I did what I call success preparation. So many people go after success, but they don't prepare for success. You know, I was reading something the other day and they asked the question, um, of the audience, they said, man, do you really want to be successful? I know you say you do, but do you really want to? You, you say you want to be popular. You say you want to be famous, but do you really want to? Do you want to have to go, go to the grocery store and get stopped and people want to interact with you? Do you want your life to be taken away from you because the paparazzi is always taking pictures and invading your space? You say you want success, but do you really want it, right? And so they asked the question, um, in, in this group that I was in, they're like, have you counted up the costs? Have you counted up the costs? Right? And so there's a huge demand. Like, <clears throat> you know, I have clients literally all around the world. And so recently here, uh, you know, there's a um, hurricane going throughout the Caribbean. Well, I have clients all throughout the Caribbean. And so now I'm concerned about them. I'm, 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 I'm worried about them. I'm calling them. I'm reaching out to them, making sure they're okay. Yes, it's nice to say you have clients all around the world um, when everything has gone hunky-dory, but when it hits the fan, I mean, all throughout Europe, I have clients. All throughout Africa, I have clients. And so whenever they're going through anything, I'm impacted emotionally. Do you want to deal with that? 
do you want to take on that burden, right? So you got to prepare for success. You can't just want success. You got to prepare for it. All right. So that's mindset. The next thing is our attitude, our attitude. Your attitude determines your altitude. Simply put, like if you have the choice of having a positive attitude or a negative attitude, you better choose a positive attitude because a negative attitude is not going to do anything for you. I, I've never seen an adi a negative attitude make any situation better. I'm not saying a positive attitude is going to make the situation go away, but I guarantee you, you'll have a better perspective of the outcomes if you have a positive outcome. This is why the Bible says it like this, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God. In everything give thanks. Dr. Will, how can I give thanks for everything? You don't understand that I just had a flat tire. In everything, give thanks. I thank God that I have three tires that work. I thank God that I have AAA. I thank God that I have a car that can get a flat tire. I thank God that I'm on my way to a job in my car. See, find reasons to be thankful. Don't find reasons to complain. In everything, give thanks. And this is all about your attitude, your perspective of how you see life. Every morning I wake up believing that life is conspiring to help me win. Every single morning my eyes pop up. I get excited because I know that the universe is conspiring to help me win today. I know. This is what I say every single morning. Good things are happening to me because I'm fixed, focused, and I'm pursuing my destiny. Every single morning I quote this. Good things are happening to me because I'm fixed and I'm focused and I'm pursuing my destiny destiny. So I, my expectation, my attitude is that good things are happening to me today. No matter what happens, good things are happening. Why? Because my attitude is all things work together for my good. That's my attitude, that all things work together for my good. If God before me, who can be against me? That's my attitude. And so that's why I don't pop up on social media talking about haters. Why? Because my attitude is God would make my enemy my footstool. So anybody that wants to be a hater, they're just telling me they want to be the stepping stone to my next level of success. So my attitude for them, I feel unfortunate for them. So what do I do? I pray for them. Why? Because my attitude is to pray for those who despitefully use me. Why? Because their problem and their issue is not mine. Their issue is now with God. Because why? God is my protector. That's my attitude. That's my attitude. And so I feel really unfortunate for them if they would choose to be my hater, if they would choose to be my enemy, because God is going to make them my footstool. He's going to use them to get me to the next level. It's like Judas, right? Judas was used to promote God, to promote Jesus to glory. That's why Jesus didn't get rid of Judas. Because he knew Judas was going to be used to propel him to his destiny. That's why he had a total different perspective on Judas. When everybody else would have said, kick Judas out. No, Jesus said, no, we need Judas. He's getting ready to be my furniture. He's getting ready to be the step that I use to go to glory. And so you got to have the right mindset. And then the last thing before I let you guys go, persistence. Persistence. You got to be in it for the long haul. You got to be in it until you finish it. Did you hear me? You got to be in it until you finish it. That has to be your perspective. That I'm not quitting until it's done. That I'm not giving up until I've accomplished. You got to be persistent. Why? Because this is what the Bible says, you will reap if you faint not. So this is an endurance race. The Bible tells us the race is not given to the swift. It's not given to the strong, but it's to him who endures until the end. That's, that's the game. Can you outlast everybody? Can you keep showing up? That, that's the game. Can you keep showing up? And here's what I love about principles, because here's what the principle says. Here's what the principle says. You will be rewarded for your work. Everybody doesn't have to see what you're doing, but you, the universe, will conspire because the universe sees you working when nobody else sees you. 
The majority, of, the majority of the time I'm in my office, you don't see me. You see me in my office right now for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You don't see the other 19 hours of the day that I'm in my office. You don't see that. Nobody else sees that. But guess what? The universe sees it. And the universe conspires to reward me. So this is why I don't have to listen. <clears throat> I don't have to have a big following. I don't have to have millions of people follow me, right? For me to get the results that I want, for me to get the accolades and the awards that I get. Why? Because I, it doesn't say popularity is rewarded. Persistence is rewarded. The race is given to the person who endures. Consistency is rewarded. Being persistent is rewarded keep showing up every day is rewarded not popularity not fandom that's not rewarded but persistence is rewarded so this is how you create a success map make sure you have the right mindset make sure you have the right attitude make sure you're persistent that you're in this for the long haul that you're in this for the long haul that how do I know when it's time to quit? When you win? How do I know it's time to quit? When you have accomplished? Until then, you will reap if conditional, you fail not. That's your success map. So as I always tell you, go out there and be your brilliant, amazing, genius selves. Go out there and make someone else smile and laugh as you make yourself smile and laugh and don't forget to dominate. All right guys, I'll see you tomorrow for the Daily Genius.